Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be vlogging tonight my Sunday like pamper reset routine as well as like my nighttime routine. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do, although we do have to head out now to go for my walk. I love exercising, I love going on walks. To me, that is something that I consider pampering to me because I feel so good afterwards. So yeah, let's go for a walk. I'm at the beach, I'm about done with my walk, and I had a pretty good walk. Okay, so I'm home now. I'm so glad I went on my walk. I did like three and a half miles. Um, on my way home from my walk, I stopped at the store and picked up coconut water. I love coconut water, although this Naked's is so expensive. This was like $4, excuse me. And then I bought this uh, protein shake. I actually showed you guys it in my last vlog. It's the Rebel brand. I actually really, really like it. It's 160 calories. Um, okay, it's not a protein shake, but what is it supposed to like? Because it doesn't have a lot of protein at all. It's just like a good shake. I think I'm going to save this later for when I want dessert. Because um, we don't really have any like dessert here right now. And I'll have this while I'm doing my stuff. No, this is like super zoomed in, so, sorry. Um, I just, I just want to show you guys really quickly the two things that I'll put in my hair before it's time to wash my hair. I did this a little bit yesterday, and then I did some today. I put in some argan oil. This one's from Trader Joe's. And then I also put in some squalane oil from The Ordinary. They're both really hydrating, great for the hair, and I just like soak my ends in it and braid it and just let it marinate, so... That I'm currently using it's the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. So that's what I'm currently letting sit in my hair for like 10 minutes and then I'll get out. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna show you guys just really quickly the products that I'll use in my hair. This is an every, I wouldn't say every day because I don't wash my hair every day, but I just stared at myself. You saw, you saw. Okay. So. My favorite detangler is the Unite 7 Second Detangler. I use this first. And then, lately I've been keeping it pretty simple with what I put in my hair because I've actually found that I don't need to put as much in my hair lately. Don't know why. Love it though. So again, I'll put the Trader Joe's Argan Oil. Um, I like this Argan Oil. I will say though, I do like the Ordinaries better. I feel like this one... If you're putting it in dry hair, it tends to feel a little bit more like tacky and sticky, whereas the Ordinary is just so smooth, glides right on. But Matt knocked my bottle over of that, so we're stuck with this. It's okay though. And then I apply the Kerastase Old Time. Is it gonna focus? Expensive, but it's literally liquid gold. Like that's how I'd like to describe it, is literal liquid gold. It's so good, it's amazing. If I could ever recommend anyone with hair anything, this. Okay, and then that's literally all I've been putting. Um, I know that I'm not supposed to put a cotton swab in my ear, but I mean, I'm going to. <laughs> I know that I'm not supposed to, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Okay, so that's everything I'll put in my hair. So on days where I like to really reset, I like to exfoliate. So my exfoliator of choice is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Love this stuff. Um, for a while, I was only using this 
the peel that like everyone's obsessed with from The Ordinary and I love it. The only thing is, is that because you can't use it a lot, like you can use it at max once a week, um, my skin needs to just be exfoliated more often than a week I've noticed once I start going like like at least like twice a week my skin likes and I've noticed that when using that I have to go longer without exfoliating because it is so harsh but my skin starts to get really like what's the word it just looks bad like my claw my my clog my clogs um my pores just look clogged I get like little bumps on my forehead which I'm not a fan of so yeah, I'll use the exfoliator and then I'll use my Skin Fix moisturizer. I absolutely love, love, love this moisturizer. It's great for anyone that literally never focused. I held it there the entire time, like waiting for it to focus and it like never happened. Okay. Uh, ow. I hurt my knee so bad today during lunges. Like it's not funny. <laughs> not funny. Um, but anyways, I absolutely love this stuff. If you are looking for any moisturizer, it's like $50 for this, but... Woo! If your skin is very sensitive, gets irritated easily, and you need like a, what the hell? If you need like a thicker moisturizer, this is it. So, I'm gonna use some of this. It comes out like this, by the way, which is like, is it gonna focus this time? The wee. It's like, kind of everything. Um, I have two new nail polishes that I'm going to try to decide between. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna test both of them out and then pick so yay <laughs> Uh, loving the Emma Chamberlain Paxson ad before Emma Chamberlain's video. That's a mood. So I'm watching oh, Emma's okay. oh, okay girl girl. Okay girl. I'm talking right now uh, <laughs> I'm watching oh Can't you see how good my nails look like that? Bye. Um, bye. Where's any good lighting? Okay, this is the color that I did. Obviously, it's the darker one. This fucking lighting is gonna be the death of me. Ooh, they look like little grapes. Okay, I gotta paint the other nail though. So I clicked on the uh, Vogue Madison Beer video, and when her face popped up, I, <laughs> I was not expecting to feel as insecure as I did. What the hell? What is this? I can never relate. Queen. So it's a little bit later. I'm I'm going to apply my fake tan now. Um because I'm going to sleep with it on. The last time I used it, I didn't sleep with it on, but this time I'm going to Um okay. So right now, this is the fake tan that I use. It's the Saint Tropez Self Tan and Classic. I, I'm gonna be honest I don't know what the hype with this thing is like I don't know I don't get it it looks more orange to me and it fades so fast I put this on last week and I think it lasted a good two days I don't know what the hype with this is I ordered a new brand we'll see how it is maybe I'll do a review but not a fan but it's better in my opinion than being pale I'm actually like not even like that pale but I don't know it's something it's not the worst I'm not like saying it's the worst thing ever but it's definitely like mm. okay you caught me I'm not putting on my fake tan yet because I forgot how geez is this the worst angle ever I forgot it's really annoying and sticky so I'm gonna wait right before bed um right when I'm like whitening my teeth and stuff but are we just gonna pretend like, are we really gonna pretend that these are not cute? Uh, uh, are we gonna pretend that 21 year olds are not allowed to have them? Because, hello? <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna sit in bed. Ew, okay. I'm sorry, I don't like the way I look in this. <laughs> So it's like, oh my gosh, my hair. Uh, it doesn't look good while it's drying. But it's like nine o'clock now. I'm gonna put, 
if you just heard me fart bye like literally bye um i'm gonna put the fake tan on now hopefully you guys can see a difference and see why i'm not the biggest fan of it but yeah i'm just gonna show you like me putting it on my calves i also just might be already too tan for this tan like it may not be the worst but it still is orange and it still does fade fast but i may not see the results i want because my skin is more like olive undertones and then i can get pretty tan by myself but i'm trying not to age like i'm trying to age like fine wine i'm not trying to age like the disgust like a disgusting leather bag so that's why i'm fake tanning um so i'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see even a difference also okay so i'll show you on this calf right here I'm gonna blend that better into my feet, don't worry, but... So, like, from what I just did, can you see a difference? Okay, you definitely can see a difference, but let me just wait. I'll show you guys tomorrow. So, here's after one coat... Oh, shit, I keep blending. What do you do one minute? <laughs> So we went to Cane's. <gasps> okay, if you're looking at my hands and you're like, didn't she just tan? I took it off because I forgot, I told you guys that it was orange and I told you guys that it was streaky, but what I didn't tell you is that it's sticky, which I forgot how sticky it was and I'm like, no. It actually made me so irrationally angry. I started, I went on Ulta and I wrote a review. I'm gonna make a TikTok, like I'm just, it's, it's not good. But anyways, I'm gonna eat the Cane's and then, once I'm done eating, then we'll do more. Hello, my little critters. Um, so that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for getting pampered with me. Oh, by the way, update. Those teeth whitening strips worked amazing. Not not even just with the way they whiten but they didn't make my teeth sensitive at all if you guys usually have issues with like regular teeth whitening strips making your teeth crazy sensitive those were amazing amazing can't recommend them enough maybe they just have like a lower percent of like hydrogen peroxide i don't know but they're great and they did the job um anyways yeah that's all for this video i went shopping at target do you guys want to see what i got i low-key don't feel like getting up and showing you guys but i got a, well the purse is right here so i can show you the purse kind of cute kind of ugly it's just gonna be like a cute like summer beach bag is really my vibe for it um yeah so that's all for this video thank you guys for watching hopefully you pampered with me or you find a day out of your week to get pampered love you